Hey, boys and girls. Coach John here. Just out here in nature. Just charging myself up. Just getting into the energy that's here. I just want to talk to you a little bit about energy today. Right? All of the energy that's here. All of the energy that's here comes, comes from the sun. Right? From Father's Son. Right? All of the energy here comes from Father's Son. It comes down and it's, it's received by the green, by the grass, by the trees, right? By the leaves. The leaves take the light and turn it into fruits and vegetables. These are the first foods. These are the high energy foods. These are the healing foods. These are the raw foods. These are the uncooked and unprocessed foods. If we eat uncooked and unprocessed foods, the body heals. The body heals itself, right? That's the first thing that we have to understand. That healing, <clears throat> health, wealth, abundance, love, these are all things that are inside of us. These are all things that we have that we're born with, that, that, that they're our value, our worth, like we're, we're worthy of these things. We are enough. These are the things that we need to think and say, I am the power in my life. I am the creator of my life. I am an infinite loving being. I am love. Right? It's, it's to think that. It's to believe that. Like, I can't make somebody change their mind. Right? Someone would have to come to that thought for themselves or try it out for themselves. Like, give it a real honest try. Like, for a 10 day period or a five day period or for the next week, I'm going to just, I'm going to really try to work on my thoughts and my words and my actions, my nutritional actions, my movement actions, my thought and word actions and actually see the result. Like you have to experiment with it. You have to try because you're never going to get guarantees when you're talking about energy, when you're talking about the energy of the universe, when you're talking about universal force, when you're talking about using the energy of the universe, the loving energy within you, the loving energy around you, when you're talking about using this energy to heal yourself, the energy of your thoughts, your words, your intentions, it's about your intentions. What's your intention? If you intend well for yourself, you'll get wellness for yourself. If you intend wellness for yourself and for your family, you'll get even more wellness. If you intend wellness for yourself and for your closest people in your world and for the other people that you live on the world with and the animals and the trees, and if your intention is love for self and all others, then you will get more. It's a, it's a balance. It's, it's, it's a circle of life. Like, what's, what's you, what are you intending to do? What's, you, what's your intentions with your energy? Are you picking up your energy and putting out positive energy? Is that your intention or are you just trying to get enough for you? Because whatever is in your mind, the energy that you're putting out is what's coming back. And you can change the energy that you're putting out. You can raise up the energy that you're putting out. You can raise your energy by moving. You can raise your energy by breathing. You can raise your energy by bringing more oxygen into your body or by choosing foods that have more oxygen in them. Oxygenated foods, fruits and vegetables, live foods. Lots of studies have been done. We know that live foods heal and cure the body of all things, right? It's the elimination effect. It's the distilled water cleansing of live foods, of raw foods that contain high water content. We need to rinse out our body of toxic elements. We need to detoxify the body. This happens with live raw foods, right? As long as we're eating live raw foods, the body can heal itself. The body is, is, a, is a, live, a live being. The body, the body is a living being, right? The body is alive. 
right? It needs live food to create live healthy cells. How can we create live health, healthy cells with dead foods? It doesn't make sense. Use logic. We always have to use logic to get ourselves out of the mess that we're in. It's always a broken idea that holds us trapped. We have some broken ideas about food. We've been sold some broken ideas about food. The reason we've been sold them is because it profits a few on top. Right now we have to come back to our health. We have to recognize that we can come back to our health, but that it happens in a natural way. We have to come back to eating natural, healthy foods. We need to determine what the natural, healthy foods are, and we need to eat them most of the time. Not all of the time, just most of the time. I encourage people to do it Monday to Thursday. Make some commitment. You have to commit. Make a commitment. Make a commitment to doing the right thing most of the time. Monday to Thursday, eat the right foods most of the time. Try to eat raw foods. Try to eat fruits and vegetables, juices, raw juices, smoothies. Try to keep it to fruits and vegetables. Try to make it fluids when you can. Try to stay empty when you can. One to four days of the week, at least one day of the week, try to stay it off of the solid foods completely. Try to go to juices completely if you can, no food Monday. One day of the week, try to go 24 hours without food. Try to do an extended fast at least one day. If you can do it for 48 hours, if you can do it for 72 hours, if you can do it for 96 hours, if you can go for one to four days on just distilled water, it's a great detox. It's not unhealthy, it's wonderful. A water detox, a juice detox, a raw juice detox, just smoothies, a fruit detox, a juice detox, a smoothies, just moving to a liquid detox, liquid meals for the week, Monday to Thursday, most of the time. We don't need to be perfect. I tell people, you don't need to be perfect to get back to your best. You just need to be a little bit more perfect than, than imperfect. Just a little bit more perfect. Just more time spent in the right. Four days is what I tell people. Try to eat raw foods four days of the week. Try your best. Try not to eat cooked and processed foods four days of the week. Try your best. Do your best. If you make a mistake, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Don't have to be rocket science. It's not rocket science to get healthy and well. On the weekend, you relax and you have a flex meal. You have your cooked and processed things, the things that you'd like to have, the things that you're excited about, the things you've been craving, the things you've given up. Have those treats, those things you've given up. Have them on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Christmas birthday, Easter, uh, an event, something going on, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, have those extras. Monday to Thursday, nah -uh. Monday to Thursday, let's try to keep it uncooked, unprocessed foods. Try to keep the, the dense, heavy animal proteins. Try to keep those down. Try to keep with low density foods, high frequency, high energy foods, healing foods, nourishing foods, high energy foods live foods, fruits and vegetables. These are the healing foods. It's my four day detox. I try to teach all of my customers. It's a very simple thing. It's not complicated. But as you hear the message, as you hear the lesson, as you hear the message more and more often, you'll start to pick it up and understand. It's really about trying to shrink your eating window, try to eat in as small a window as possible. Try to stay empty as long as you can every single day, practice fasting. One day of the week, try to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Try to go a little longer into your fast. Try to push yourself outside of your comfort zone with your movements, with your foods, changing your boundaries, getting into healthy, natural balance, natural boundaries, getting in alignment with the natural laws that are here. We're just getting into alignment, alignment with the loving force energy that's within me and all around me and that I can use to get into the circle of life with and align with. Coach John, powering myself up for the evening, dusting off my day, just leaving you a quick message, talking about energy, talking about the energy of live raw foods, talking about the healing energy of live raw foods.
Heal everything that you want to, anything that you want to in your life. Lose the weight, heal the pain, make more money, fix your relationships. What do you want to do? Anything you want to do, you have that kind of power. Just choose it. Choose it in your mind and go for it. Have yourself a super awesome, terrific,